If you're new, press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to Dogecoin video update. Alright, so a uh, little bit of a pump into Dogecoin uh, seen here, but it uh, unfortunately we still doesn't really mean that it's amazing so first of all you have the three black rows move down three red candles back to back and then you had this little bit of a push up just like that and uh, from here this could be a bearish mat hold i guess in my opinion let's actually try to dive in into uh, google and let's search for a bearish mat hold i potentially believe it's that one so bearish mat hold something like that and uh no it's not a bearish mat hold but uh i actually forgot the name i forgot the name so uh, anyways i'm still just gonna tell you basically let's actually dive in into the uh you know candlesticks right over there i do hope it is the bearish mat hold by the way um it it actually is almost like a bearish mat hold it actually is look at that um no no it's not this one it's not this one uh it's a different name sorry guys got confused right there so um basically you see there's this three candles number one this one you have this second candle and we have this third candle right over here okay when you talk about that candle three these three uh green candles at the moment it is actually almost like a bearish mat hold. It is actually, yeah, because you went to the downside, missed those three green candles and move move to the lower side of it. But the, uh, there's a little bit of a tiny difference. It is still not a bearish mat hold because the bearish mat hold has three uh, equal green candles. Okay, uh, these three candles are equal in size. But if you notice, these three candles they were decreasing in size okay when they were moving up notice how this candle is bigger than this candle and this second candle in the middle is bigger than the third body of the third candle right which means that the buyers were strong here and they weaken here and they were weakening even here make sense the buyers were too much they decreased a little and decreased even more and then the sellers came and won okay so that's uh not a bearish mat hold the, but they're identical to one another um because the bearish mat hold has equal size of candles like the buyers were just almost they had the same strength pushing it up and then the sellers overtook them but this one the buyers were weakening and then the sellers overtook them so basically um we still are looking for dogecoin to drop okay we we're not any bullish anytime soon and as far as i'm concerned you can see that dogecoin is uh you know right now struggling to get above this resistance that i've talked about before so that was your resistance right over there and all you did is you know just move a little bit down make a little bit of a correction to the upside and we're still looking for more impulsive move down so my personal take is we can still come below 7325 okay so that's what i'm looking forward to for dogecoin and by the way uh talking about this pattern this is a continuation pattern and you're meant to come down to 7323 uh the targets to 6759 remains and uh hopefully uh, I don't know when it's going to come in, but this is still a target that is pending. And that's pretty much it for this update on Dogecoin. I'm going to see you in the next one. Hello, Office.